on the left wing. Kieran Williams also returns at inside centre alongside Owen Watkins. Look out for Morgan Morse on the bench as well. 18 years of age. Experience though with Van Rensburg and Venter in the centres. Particularly settled and serious gas with Dianti, Koch and Farsi in the back three. Last 12 shirt is own, but it's the Ospreys 12 shirt that he'll be wearing this evening. Round three of the URC is underway. Sharks kicking off to Ospreys. Bruce Ball bounces to Ospreys. Uh, right, Bosch. And the back it comes. Sharks handing the ball really well, and Fassi releases Cork. He's got Butalese outside him. Butalese is going to open the scoring. What a try. Be the ball of the two sides. Just look at this here. Out the back, and you can see the numbers on the left hand side. We look, it's a three on one, it's about execution now. Cock does well to straighten, and Budalese does the rest. What a start for the Sharks, Tom. I'm really impressed with how the Sharks realigned there from that kick. Got really good numbers. Van Rensburg does the, does the damage with his run around the back, just sucks in one of the Ospreys players. Just crazy overlap for Budalese. There it is, you can just see it there. Morgan Morris just gets sucked in slightly. Plenty of time there from that run for the Ospreys to realign. Just think one more penalty now, the yellow card. Has to be. Advantage. They go to Fender. It's free another kick, penalty advantage. advantage for Ospreys. Moving towards the line. Over the line. And the try scored. Yeah, yeah. the old hole in the, the you want to check. Well, whatever it is, it's a yellow okay, It was sorry. a penalty advantage anyway. Do you think there'd be a yellow card coming from it, maybe? Lads, we need to sort these comms out. I can't hear the TMO at all. I can't hear the TMO. Clear separation, so if there's lost control, we're looking for separation. There's no separation. Can you see, are we seeing clear separation after the lost control? I wouldn't like to call that one, Shanks. I mean, if you freeze it, there. Didn't see where the separation was. Yes. So, okay. So it's no try. Well, this might end up being I'll, bad news for Morgan, Sharks so anyway, because surely now my yeah, the is coming the off the back of the penalty. Is not good just now, so he, he was trying to come in. And it is still in the hands of the big men. Penalty advantage coming. Now will we see some width? Whipped out, Jack Walsh! Walsh is in! Osprey score! And the pressure eventually tells. But for all the rugby we've seen from the Sharks, they, they're not making any inroads really until now. Well, they might be now because the gap opens up, but Yancy van Rensburg on, yeah. puts it on the toe. Yeah. And now it's Max Nagy. Well, he's come off the bench and he's gone straight onto the scoreboard. Max Nagy, two tries in two games, and the Ospreys lead. The motions to bring an end to this half. Okay, advantage. You've got advantage. Well, got penalty advantage. advantage. No tackle. Take it. So Jack Walsh, little nudge in behind. The chase is on. The bounce is up. Oh, it's been knocked on. And now Kieran Williams, the footballing skills. He's never going to win that race though. With Dianti, but it's fumbled. It's down. And Ospreys think they've scored. Oh, and it goes forward off Furnacock. And he has been one of the standouts for Sharks. He's not stopped for 80 minutes. But Ospreys go back to back. They had a brilliant second half against Connacht.